Athletes in politics have crossed paths from time to time, yet that relationship was pushed to an inconceivable and unimaginable level when eccentric NBA Hall of Famer Dennis Rodman became the first American to meet North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. This may not help U.S. and North Korea relations, though. Former Assistant Secretary of State Stephen Ganyard best summed it up as, quote, There is nobody at the CIA who could tell you more personally about Kim Jong-un than Dennis Rodman, and that in itself is scary, end quote. And as weird as that real thing that happened is, our creative minds think we can come up with something even weirder. So, Kurt, what is the strangest foreign situation that you could see an athlete getting involved in? All right, Joe, listen. I took a lot of time on this one. I, I thought have some fun with really this hard. I, I'm trying. I'm trying to have fun, okay? I am sending someone in the 80s to deal with the uh, Cold War. Okay. And that someone is John Lackey. Can oh, I tell you why? Because anyone who sounds like a Muppet can certainly take care of foreign relations. That's oh, the way I'm looking at it. Gosh. You sound like a Muppet, how can you not love that guy? <laughs> I'm actually going to up you. I'm using time travel as well, but okay, I've like got it. Gronk on my side. Ooh. I'm going to Cold War as well. I'm going Cuban Missile Crisis. Okay. Gronk is going to try to talk some sense into the Cubans, say, Yo soy Fiesta, Two Aries Fiesta, bien. Problem solved. Done. Then we party. Yeah, and then we can party. Joe, I think we should be the heads of foreign affairs. I don't. Why not? That, that's pretty scary, two things to go on top of Dennis Rodman having to deal with North Korea. But Joe, what if it works? What if this works? None of that would work. Why not? How could any of that work? All right, well, <laughs> hey, that's all the time we have. If you missed anything from the show or just want to watch it again, check out our YouTube page at youtube.com slash one-on-one sports. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at one-on-one sports. For all of our producers and crew, thanks for watching one-on-one sports. And remember, until next time, whose side are you on?